Hey hello and welcome to my new video. This time it's not a hair file compilation or reacting to hair files. This is really a video to help you with curly hair. So I'll try to give you 10 tips to get more curly hair or nice curly hair without freezing. You know, not freezing from the cold, but freezy. It's like fly away hair, so frizzy, frizzy, I think. I think it's the right thing to say, frizzy. So if you have curly hair, you know what I mean. So if you wanna have nice curly hair, then I have 10 tips for you. First of all, before I tell you these tips, I wanna explain to you uh, what curly hair is and why is it sometimes so frizzy. First of all, uh, curly hair is flat from structure. It's really flat, like Asian hair is really round structure and uh, around the hair you have all these kind of layers on top of each other and between these layers you have a, a moisture in uh, it's called cell membrane complex but this is the only difficult word I'm going to explain but let's say moisture the flatter your hair is the more curly your hair is so Normal curly hair, not African curly hair, but normal curly hair, it's really like medium flat. But the more flat your hair is, the less moisture is between all these layers. And that's why curly hair is really thirsty for moisture. So you need to put a lot of moisture in your hair to have nice curly uh, hair. So let's give you my 10 tips for really beautiful curly hair. My first tip is don't use a towel but use a, an old t-shirt or something to uh, cover up your hair if you're coming out of the shower or you washed your hair uh, then instead of rubbing it with a towel then you can comb it with a wooden comb I will explain later. You put an old t-shirt uh, around your hair and let your hair dry in the t-shirt so your hair will be more curly and less frizzy that way. So for my second tip, if you don't want to use an old t-shirt or something and you still want to use a towel, then use a soft towel, like with uh, these fiber towels. This is really soft material and you can really uh, dab your, your, uh, your hair very soft. Don't rub it like this. Uh, because you're aggressively attacking your hair and it's becoming very 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 frizzy so you have to use a very touch soft touch to uh, dry your hair so don't rub it too fast or too hard use a soft towel uh, instead of a t-shirt if you don't want to use a t-shirt so for my second tip soft towel and don't take it too rough so my third tip for today for curly hair is use kitchen paper. I don't know if that's the correct word uh, in English, but I think it's kitchen paper, you know, paper for the kitchen, kitchen paper. So it's a paper towel. Um, and instead of really drying your hair, uh, you put all your hair inside the paper, press it together and take, let all the moisture taking in the paper and let it go and then you will have more curly hair less frizzy hair number four the longer your hair the less curls you will going to have uh, if you cut your hair a little bit shorter it don't have to be like this but if you have hair like this then it could be hanging out your curls by the weight of your hair so if you cut it a little shorter then you will have more curls and uh, more hair of course um, if you cut it like 10 centimeters and then it curls more then it will be shorter than just the 10 centimeters just uh, be careful for that if you cut it off then you'll still have to jump a few centimeters or inches uh, shorter uh, but if the shorter your hair the more curly uh, your hair will be so if you have problems with with your hair it's not curly anymore uh, take a, a few inches off and then it will curl more. 
Number five, so if you still want to have really long hair, just know, in the beginning I explained that curly hair needs a lot of moisture. moisture. So if you want to have long hair, uh, just know that your hair is growing like in centimeters again, 12 centimeters in one year. So it's like four years old your hair. The ends are like four years old. So four summers, four winters, a lot of washing, a lot of combing. So the ends will be more treated than the rest. So if you want long hair and it doesn't uh, curl nice and you have frizzy hair, put a lot of moisture in your hair, treat it very carefully. It's, uh, it's really precious for you, so treat it very carefully with a lot of moisture inside your hair, like uh, treatments that, uh, that you put inside, like leave it for five minutes, uh, again, uh, you wash it, then you dry it. The more dry your hair is, the deeper the moisture, the deeper the, the treatment is going inside your hair. So if you leave it really, really wet, then the treatment is not going inside your hair. So dry it, then treat it, wait for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and then rinse it off. Then you get a lot of moisture in your hair. It's not going to work in one time, so it takes a lot of treatments to put all this moisture inside your hair, but at the end result, you will have less frizzy, more curly hair. Number six, if you have long hair and you want to have nice curls, don't change your color so often. Uh, if you go, for example, from black to blonde and then to red and then to copper, uh, your hairdresser will need a lot of damaging products to take all this color out and put new ones inside. So a lot of moisture will taking out of your hair and a lot of damage will be done to your hair. So if you want to have nice curls, don't change so much for color. Uh, stay with your normal color and it will be less damaging. Again, if you want to bleach it, you want to go to blonde, then there is a big, big, big chance that your curls will not be that beautiful because blonde bleaching is the most powerful product in our profession. Number seven, don't use products with alcohol inside. Uh, like for a mousse, uh, hairspray, there's a lot of alcohol inside that pro these products and alcohol will take all the moisture inside your hair. So it will damaging your hair and you will have on the long term more frizzy and uh, less nicer curls. Uh, so use a cream. If you use a lot of mousse to uh, style your curls, uh, then in the beginning you will not be happy with the cream uh, but on the long term uh, you will have more nice curls and you don't need the uh, mousse anymore so don't use products that will take all the moisture outside so gel mousse hairspray not done number eight let your hair dry naturally don't dry it with the normal hair dryer uh, because you will stress your hair and it again it will be frizzy if you don't want to let it dry in nature like like just natural use a diffuser put your hair inside the diffuser and dry it like this don't rub it or something just put it in leave it like that and take it out don't rub it because the more you're rubbing it with your hands the more frizzy it gets and a very important rule, if you dry your hair with curly hair, if you dry your hair, just dry it for 80%. Don't dry it completely. It has to be a little moisture uh, and let the rest dry just in nature. Number nine, uh, if it's possible, use a satin pillow sleeve on your pillow. Because uh, satin is really soft for your hair, it will damage your hair less and again less frizzy hair. And then my last tip, number 10, don't comb your hair if it's dry. Always comb your hair when it's wet. Um, normally if in the morning you get up and you say, okay, my hair is not okay, I will comb my hair, then wow, frizzy. Uh, so it's not okay to comb it when it's dry. If it's not 
looking okay and you, you say to yourself I need to comb it then you have to wet your hair so go into the shower wet your hair don't wash it every day because that's another problem then but just wet your hair and then comb it if you comb your hair when it's dry you will have frizzy hair you will have like Jackson's 5 hair you don't like that some people are really nice with that time style but let's say you don't want that so don't comb it when it's dry every time when it's wet and if it's possible with a wooden comb this is better for your hair so these are my top 10 tips for curly hair and you can say I will get tips for curly hair from a hairdresser with no hair but I want to give tips to have nicer hair because I don't have any hair if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you have any question to me ask it in the comments down below maybe I will answer it maybe I'll make a new video about your problem so let's go give me a comment and let me know if these tips were helpful for you if you were happy with this kind of video or you just want to see more hair fails I will make more hair fails I want to laugh yes I want to laugh I want to help people with hair fails so you don't make the same mistake of these people that are ruin their lives with ruin their hair so i will make all these kind of videos tips for your hair hair fails and reacting to hair fails so let me know which kind of videos you prefer and i will make more for you so for now i will say ciao kiss.